Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're a new viewer, welcome to Pie in the Sky Tours. In today's video, I'll be showcasing and going through how I'm achieving 60 plus FPS in VR using DLSS and the OpenXR Toolkit in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I'm sure those of you who have opted into the beta build of SimUpdate 10 are absolutely loving the new improvements in VR. I am continuing to use the DLSS option with DX11. I want to share how I'm achieving 60 frames a second so you can try it too. In my video yesterday, I said the OpenXR Toolkit did not work with the update, but I stand corrected and it works fine with DX11. Please note though, it won't work with DX12, nor with the eye tracked foveated rendering. And thanks to Matt for confirming this information with me. Over the past months, I've had one YouTuber in particular who constantly tries to discredit me and my channel, and in particular my settings guides. So I want to give you a heads up and to let you know to be cautious about anyone who claims to be some kind of Microsoft Flight Simulator VR guru, regardless of their following. I don't want to pathologize about this person and the reason that he behaves this way, but this is blatant trolling and bullying and it's not acceptable. As far as I'm concerned, we're all here to enjoy and share our experiences with this amazing sim. I look forward to making more content for you going into the future. Anyway, back to the video. Here you can see I'm taking off from Lucklet Airport in Nepal in a Baron G58. On the left you can see I'm running VR using the OpenXR Toolkit, set to 80% FSR upscaling using the new DLSS anti-lasing tool in the sim. On the right you can see I'm not using the OpenXR Toolkit, but I'm using DLSS, which is the same setting I used for my best settings guide yesterday. Both options are a major improvement on the performance, so I'm really happy. The reason I'm showing you this footage is so you can see that there really are hardly any stutters and the sim is running exceptionally well. Now of course there is a small price to pay for such performance, and that is the obvious slight loss in visual quality since we're upscaling the image. You'll notice slight pixelations on trees in the distance, so if this bothers you, I suggest setting the upscale to about 90% and see if you prefer it. I ran at 85% and it looked good and seemed to stay around 56 to 57 frames, but in order to get 60 frames, I lowered it to 80%. I think trying this might be really beneficial to those of you with 2000 series GPUs, but having said that, I'm absolutely loving these settings with my 3080, so I definitely think it's worth a try if you're looking for seamlessly smooth VR flights. And if that slight loss of clarity doesn't bother you too much, then it's a good place to be. I'll be leaving my settings like this for the time being and continue to enjoy VR in the latest update. I have noticed that the sim resets my settings each time I start it up, so just double check if this is happening to you and make sure to dial them in before you fly. All of the other settings I'm using are the same as my latest VR settings video, which can be found in the link above. Unfortunately, I'm still suffering with COVID, but taking some short flights seemed to be helping raise my spirits and the interaction with you guys is always a breath of fresh air. So thanks for your feedback. I really appreciate your support. It'll be great if you could leave your thoughts on how the flights feel as well as what kind of graphical differences you're seeing when using these VR settings along with the OpenXR Toolkit. I'm really keen to hear about your VR experiences in the new update, so please do leave your feedback below. For more videos about the OpenXR Toolkit, check out this playlist which features in-depth content about this truly amazing tool for VR and Microsoft Flight Simulator. And please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I look forward to making the next video soon. In the meantime, as always, take care and stay safe.